Uh, you know, is it like, is it a one hit, one note kind of theme? The dress is kind of like, it just doesn't fit the way I wish it kind of would. Mm -hmm. She's got these gloves and this crown, but then like, she's wearing just like these blue sunglasses. Yeah. Like, I don't know, it's kind of like a little all over the place for me, mm -hmm. personally. Mm -hmm. There's the black gloves, the sparkles on the dress, and the texture is really pretty, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. I give it a boot. I like this. I mean, that was the look, applause, right? It was a smudge makeup, um, and it kind of feels very much on the Sasha brand. This to me is a makeup look. Yeah. Because you're wearing, you know, a, a turtleneck, a hood, some pants, a corset, and a shawl. This to me looks creepy as fuck. You're a man, and you have manly features, so they're, they're, because there's no, no contour or any dimension on the face, mm -hmm. it looks creepy. This looks creepy. Hmm. Well, I like it. It's I mean, it really, it's a toot. It's just, it's what it's was, it was what Gaga was going through at that time. See, I don't like this. I don't either. Uh, I'm a little disappointed because I'm already having a little bit of a man crush Monday on Sasha. It's, and I'm not age shaming anyone. I don't think that no. being old, because certainly I'm old. But I, you know, I just think that this really kind of just ages her. And she looks really, older than Charlie Hyde. Yeah, and she and Charlie it Hyde is like two hundred years old. I, I don't think that it really enhances to the beauty and the specialness of the type of work that she does. So therefore, I say, boop. Agreed. Boop. It's cheap. It's cool that she has a fucking birdcage on her head. Mm -hmm. It's cool that she's walking with like the bird on her hand instead mm -hmm. of it being caged. Mm -hmm. And she's Princess Uglina, but she doesn't really look ugly. Mm -hmm. I mean, the fact that she's got a unibrow is supposed to be ugly. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't mm -hmm. get it. Yeah. The And the, to me, the dress, it just looks like she's got kind of a, a silvery white sheath on it's with... Sack. Yeah. And I what do I say? Do I toot or to boot it? I don't know. It's just, it's not completely bootable. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and toot this, but not enthusiastic toot. Mm -hmm. um, I give it a boot. I don't like it. I don't care for it. It's a boot. We have Sasha Valour. Sasha. Sasha? Sasha Valour. I like this look. I love that Sasha Valour has a very um, interesting way of using props. And um, I like that her props actually contrast the outfit that she's wearing. So that's an interesting so part of it. So do you give her props for her props? <laughs> Something a little off, but it's definitely tootable. It's yeah. I, I give it a two. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Valour. I love this. She's giving me some sort of Bolshevik type of like, <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, 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 ha, ha. Like, like I want to see her do that. Does she do that? What's really unique about it is the fur used. I like that it's sort of this like knotted, weird, kind of poodly kind of fur, which okay. makes it very, very different. Because I think that everyone's uh, knee jerk and quick reaction to fun fur or faux fur. Well, uh, now she's got fur around her ankles. Do you like this? I like this because it, you know it's a, it's a really great like strategic small placement of it. It, is, it isn't a leg warmer. I like the placement of the color, the interesting accessories. I even like the fur around her head. I think it all goes with a certain. Um, it feels ethnic or something to me, like definitely Russian or- it's very Russian. Or, yeah, something. I like this, I'm gonna give it a two. I... Boo. Oh! Yeah, Why? Because I don't like it. What don't you like about it? I don't, I, you know, it's drag, it's fun, I get it, but I just like, I like, I would like to see it a little more draggy. Mm. It's. Looks like a oversized shirt mm -hmm. with a pair of chinos tucked up inside of a boot. Mm, fierce. Yeah, but I, I give it a boot. Okay. So that's my opinion, and I'm sticking the fuck to it. Sticking it in your boot. Next up, Sasha Velour. I love Sasha Velour. I think she's very intriguing. I hear a button there. But. <laughs> <laughs> butt hairs. I'd boot it because I wish there was more hair. If she filled her head with a whole bunch of these spikes, that would have been really cool. Yeah, if there were some coming out the sides, I get it, yeah. I, I mean, I, I, the look, again, it's a, it's a great drag go-to, especially now everyone's doing the whole like bandage-y, bondage -y. It cuts her off really weird though, to me. And how do you feel about those boots, Raven? Well, you know, I don't care for them. <laughs> it's the harness thing with the, you know, it's yeah. like, so, oh, like I'm punk rock. But it, it. it is a realized complete look. We have it to get it. It is, but we are looking at the challenge at hand and mm -hmm. it is big hair. So I think that 
like you said, there should have been more. 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 Yeah. So a boot. Yeah. I give it a boot. I give it a boot as well. Big hair. She Not didn't as care. Well. You gave it first. I'm just agreeing with you. So okay. she didn't like you first. 